and welcome everybody to another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. CBQ. We'll never know. In today's episode, we're going to be opening our second round of packs from the Crown Zenith Collection. Again, this is our mini uh, season, if you will, that will yep. only last just this single month. But I have got to say that last week's episode might have been one of the most exciting episodes of Box Breakers that we have ever had. And it makes me so stoked for what can come yeah. in these packs <clears throat> right here. Let's go. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Oh, and if I recall, we're hoping for salad energy for Maximum, or was it? Where was no, it? No, I think last week was salad Last week energy. was salad. I just want eyeball energy just Always want eyeball. I want, it's just gonna right. happen. We were so close last week. Let's see if we can do it. With the spin. Oh, a light spin today. Okay, I think I felt like I was going heavy. No, 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 no. That was definitely lighter than usual. Lighter, okay. <gasps> It has finally happened, it Ben. It has finally happened! Oh, my oh gosh. what a day, what a time to be alive. And I'm so excited. This everyone's is gonna going be... absolutely wild. And you know what? We gotta switch the skateboards. Hold on. Oh my gosh. Every single time. He doesn't even always do it every single time. Sometimes he forgets, and those are my favorite days. And now, in the meantime, we have these like puck lights back there, and now they flash me in the face. I get like a mild migraine. I'm just gonna have to deal with that probably for the rest of the day. So if I seem off or if my math is wrong or something, then you'll know why. You'll know why. How you doing back there? We almost done with this? Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. And we're there and we did it. Hey. Espeon! Do you have some randomly chosen common taste cards for us? We do have some randomly chum. <laughs> So I think, yeah. No, I think we keep it. Okay. <laughs> we do have some randomly chosen common chase cards for today. They're going to be Gloom, Corefish, and Larvesta. Larvesta. So there's no doubling up with the type advantage today, unfortunately, but I think we're gonna see plenty of eyeball energy going around anyway. If I know eyeball energy like I think I know eyeball energy, we're in perfectly good shape. Yeah, what's fun about this set is last time it was like this matching thing where we got, they came in twos. This is complete random. It is complete random. Uh, I did feel like last week we spent so much time I'm busting into our elite trainer boxes. As a reminder, there are no booster boxes for this particular set. Nope. So the most cost effective way for us to get packs was ETBs, which means that we have opened like three and a half of them in order to get all of the glorious packs here. Ba boom! I went, I went through with my hand scales and I, I sorted them evenly so that you know there should be a good spread wow. of, of good quality rare. That's all not right. true, I didn't do that. <laughs> Let's do our first pack. All right, our first contestant today is gonna be Peabody Coco, uh, who is our, uh, this is their third season playing with us. At least that's what it says on this card. And uh, they finished last season with eight. I'm going right out of the middle here. Oh! For, I'm, getting, I'm choosing chaos You today. chose chaos. Okay, no, that's all right, that's all right. Because, I mean, the hand scales may have put things in such a place such that uh, that was a good place to pull from. Yeah. Well, you don't want to be like first. I mean, yeah, right. <laughs> who puts a rare thing first? Right. Bam. Oh, dark teardrop energy out of the gate. Let's see. Can we get any eyeball Pokemon in here, or, no, I'm not Where, saying oh, anything, oh! oh, oh no, okay, oh. Right, at, right away, we do have a foil energy, which, honestly, had this been eyeball, that would count. It would count, it, it would, would count. count, yes, yep. Um, but this is not one of the uh, scoring energy cards, unfortunately, right. but let's see, oh, oh wow, just the Zara Aura there as a scoring card, so it's gonna be a single point pack, which actually is good news for Peabody Coco, because coming into the episode, last place was uh, a two point pack, so right now, Peabody Coco is 
uh, winning last place. Congratulations! And with a zero aura, what is the what is the dollars and cents on this one? Because it's probably going to be a one a one pointer that wins. Hang on, I'm going to drop your foil energy into a sleeve for you, just for good good safekeeping. We can Let's save number, some math. Number fifty two on the set is going to be twelve cents. Wow. A whopping twelve cents. It does round up to one point, although it is insignificant. Twelve cents though could be significant, so we'll keep an eye on that one. All right, and here's your cards. They are headed your way. Congratulations on that shiny energy. Yeah. Bling out that deck. You know it. You know it. That's the only way to do it. Next up, we have Andy, probably from Toy Story, but not definitely. Probably. The fun fact here says formerly owned um, a Space Ranger doll and a Sheriff doll, interestingly. Wow. So who knows? Yeah. No, no connection whatsoever. Uh, that we are aware of. Let's see, code card off. We're gonna go one, two, three, four. Mr. Davis, let's see. Oh, Dark Teardrop oh, again! Man, wow. Oh, you had literally just talked I about- I just said they weren't you know, coming in pairs, but, but I pulled out of the middle and true. I don't know if you I did. I did as well, I did as okay. well. Okay, so, so who knows? The electric, the Ultra Ball, the Energy Retrieval, the Shinx, the Larvesta. Oh, the Larvesta scores. Larvesta does score, good save. Uh, the Whalmer. Oh, the oh, Marine! Oh, the Marine! Is there something else peeking up back there? Oh, uh, no. The oh Zen Aura again. Wow. Wow. We talked about how it was like, it's like, oh yeah, it's totally mixed up now. Ha ha ha. And then two <laughs> yeah. in a row. Exactly. Two Same in thing. a row. So another 12 sub but obviously the Mareep is going to score yes. uh, something as well. The So this is at least a three point pack, and I think Mareep has got to be worth at least two points. Yes. So uh, as a reminder, there is only one. Uh, Mon in the entire Galarian Gallery that does not score more than one point, and it's the the uh, Voltorb. The Voltorb. Yeah. So, and whenever we see a Galarian Gallery or the Trainer Gallery, if you will, uh, show up, you will know that that will score more. In this case, that is worth two dollars and eighty six cents. So, actually, three points oh for gosh. the Mareep. So, not bad. I so will a sleeve five it. Five point pack overall. Korea. Bam, which is you know basically good enough for twelfth uh, place at the moment. Which, I gotta tell you what, is five the magic number for Big Steve? It is! Five is the magic this number for Big Steve. This is gonna put you in a uh, tie for the Big Steve award because Big Steve's already gone. He's already, he's got his final score for the season, which was four. So uh, coming into the day, we had two people, Charcoppel and Hannah, tied at five points. And now we also have Andy competing for the Big Steve award. So two packs. Two po podium positions so far. Outstanding. That is wild. Oh, next up we have Cartavian. Cartavian. Oh my gosh, man! Another. The crowd is going wild for Cartavian here. I'm just gonna pull willy nilly out of the. Out of the who knows? You no. never know. You, you never, never know. know. How could anybody know? They can't. All right, Cartavian is from Kentucky, but lives in Colorado. How? Oh, oh boy. just like, like a that. Contender, we have a contender. The v star marker. So a possible zero point pack incoming. Uh, let's see. Can they do it? No, oh, the dust score. stops will score. Yeah. So no, we're not gonna have a. Z oh, and actually, it's definitely not because I can see something very you shiny see in the some, back oh, there. Uh oh. Oh boy, what's it gonna be? The volcano. Okay, let's see. We've got. Bam! Oh, the Zamazenta V Star. That is an awesome pull right there. Very cool. Very okay. cool. Oh my gosh. Let's see. That's gonna be. The Zamazenta is going to come in at only $1.89. Wow. I genuinely would have thought that would have been more. Less than the Mareep? Less than the Mareep. No. I know. People love the Galarian Gallery from this particular that set. That is crazy. That's Ooh. only a two-point card? Two-point card. So it's a three-point pack, I'm afraid. But you know what? Did you, you get the awesome. minus one? Oh, I did not. So it's actually only a two-point pack. No, actually, but you know what again? The Volcanion... Uh, uh, how do you pronounce that? Oh, the Volcanion was a star. It was a star. Wow, okay. We are all so over So we're back today. to three points again. We're up, down, all around. There we go. Three points for Cartavian and his Amazenta V-Star coming your way. Maybe throw a sleeve on that oh, one, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. Bam. Measurement. One, of my, one of what my favorite pack. things about the ETVs is they send all these sleeves with you, so you know, you can you can go ahead and get everybody all, all taken care of. Uh, there we go. Alright, all right, next, next up, we have got Jessica Mullins! Competing right. in her second season, as far as I can tell. All right, Jessica. Finished last time with 10 points. Can they outdo themselves with one pack? Is We're going to find out. Is it, there, it, it happened honestly, a lot last time. I know, I know. This has this been like one of the high scoring uh, set. It is. Yeah. It is. Uh, what I'm really hoping for is somebody pulling the double energy on the eyeball. I know. Because then you get a four times multiplier. That, it's never been seen. It's never been seen. We got salad energy, which was really big for us last week. 
The Gloom the Wars, score, the yep. Great Ball, the Very Mouth, nice. the Energy Retrieval, the Shinx. Our best of scores. Score. Yep. Nice. Okay, oh, the Magna Zone. Very cool. Very So we good know indeed. that's worth at least more than one point. I right. love the artwork on that one. A little assembly line going on. Right. And, and the Tapu Lele. Tapu Lele. Okay, so I, that's just a single point right there. The Glaring Gallery number 18. Let's take a peek ski at that one. It's going to be worth $2.09, so three points. So six points total. Yes, yes indeed. We're just out of range for the Big Steve competition, though, which is, of course, landing at five points. I know, yeah, and it's going to get heated real quick, I think. It is, it is. Once I think again, we're going to a bunch of five-pointers by the end of it. Big Steve doing a great job of, of really riding that bell curve, as, as Big Steve has been known to do. Yep, yeah, that's been sort of his move so far, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time. Before we see him uh, jump out to some giant lead or something. I know, I know. He's I, he was so bummed last week. I think he was one pack off of getting that secret rare. You're Pikachu. right. Although he he's also, I think he's after. pulled two of them personally anyway. Right. So don't feel too bad. Don't feel too bad for Big fine. Steve. Yeah, he's fine. He has all the cards he needs. Don't worry about that. <laughs> uh, next up, we have got Dalton Green. Uh, last season finished with 12 points. Dalton likes to run. Like, hey, me Just too. Like you. Oh man, how fun. Man. Ben, did you go on a 16-mile run this weekend? No, I got norovirus instead, and it was the worst. Hey, so did my whole family. It was the worst. <laughs> oh my gosh, I hate norovirus. Anyway, Metal Energy! Let's see how we do for Dalton Green. Giraffe rig scores. The coughing, the Bidoof, the Slend, the Purloin, the Aaron, and uh, the oh, Gumshoes. man. Boy, sort of a disappointing two-point pack. Last week, two points would have been good enough for uh, a last-place contender, but now that is, uh, that's no longer in the, in the cards. Wait, two points is not enough? We have nope. a one-point pack? We have pack? a one-pointer. We have a one-point pack. Okay. Yeah. Yep, yep, okay. Our opener on the day, Peabody Coco. Peabody Coco. There you go. Yeah. All right, well, there you go, Dalton. Got some lovely cards headed your way. Next up is Shaman Nomo. Shaman Nomo. Shaman Nomo had a single pack last season, so they uh, they only had a, a rookie debut. So this is only their second pack ever, and they only got three points last time. I have a terrible story about Nomo. Oh no. I do. I do. I do. So we uh, family. Uh, my my wife's family had a dog that was named Mozart, aka Momo. Oh and no. They live out in the in the woods, in oh, in the deep I thick. See where it's going. And uh, Momo had not been feeling well for quite some time. And one day, Momo uh, was no Mo. And so Momo um, was Nomo. Momo was Nomo. Oh, Momo, no. Nomo! Uh, anyway, so sorry to include that sad story wow. along with your <laughs> with your name there. Um, getting heavy in I here. I know, getting heavy, getting heavy. We got norovirus and... I know, yeah, there we go. The lightning energy, the Basharp, Great Ball, Pink... Pincurchin? Pincurchin, like pincushion. I gotcha, yeah. Oddish. Parker there scores. There we go, hey, we're getting, we've got all of them. All of them have A scored already. Uh, the Pokeball, Good the Whalmer. Uh, the Purloin will not score, and the Galarian Berserker. Berserker. Wow, just a two-point pack. That's looking like for uh, Nomo, who manages to score less points than they did last season. Oh. Two seasons in a row, they've had single-pack seasons. So next season, I think, is when Nomo is really thinking they had their their real shot. During I know. Scarlet and Violet right. base like, set. It's been a little like yeah, coming in late to the game on uh, season three, showing yeah. up for a single-pack season four, but season five. I think it's where the wings are really gonna like come alive. Oh man, Ben, we have Corey Wilson next up on the board, and this is our first rookie of the day. This is their first pack ever, which means they are uh, at least going to, for now, be uh, the leader in the Olive Garden gift right. card category yes, yes. for rookie of the day. We need to we need to firmly write down our number. I think last time we were questioning ourselves we the whole kept pack. So getting let's Boom. see how Corey okay, does. Okay, drop energy. Can they can they have a big Debut pack your dust clops will score. I do see something back there, Ben. There okay, will okay, be very... something exciting. Doesn't always mean it's gonna score big friends in Sinnoh. Oh, the Zero Aura V Max! Oh, that's exciting. Very cool. Really cool looking anyway, at Absolutely. the very least. Let's see how it's going to score. I'll grab a sleeve while you look up the numbers there. Good. Okay, so number 54 on the set. Man, I feel like we've been like in this zip code all day. $2.08, three points for the Zero Aura. And one for the Dust Clop, so four total. Four total, which means that our current, our current uh, holder, or the number to beat, for our rookie of the day it will four be points. four to yeah. get that. Write down Corey next to that too. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do yeah. it. Yeah. Okay. So we don't forget. Corey with four. Corey with four. Corey yeah. Forey. 
There it is. Uh oh, but right on, right on Corey's heels is Margot Calhoun, who is another rookie uh, contender today. So let's see how they do with their first pack ever. Can they get more than four points? That is the question. That you is know. the question. I went from the pack all the way on my side, so this would have been this would have been my traditional first pack. Probably. Oh wow! So this, um, this, yeah, this could have been. Uh, let's see, who was our second person on the day? This could have been Andy's pack. Oh, okay, Andy Davis. Okay, yeah, right. From Toy yeah. Story. Uh, all right, so we got the metal energy, so nothing off of that. The energy switch, the dust swap, does oh, score. Yeah, I'm sorry. As does uh, the execute. The execute will score. Yep. Uh, Molga, the, the scyther. scyther. Oh, 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 and the soul. The, the sweet coon, the altered sweet coon is amazing. I love it so much. That's going to be way better that is than the Zara really, Aura, okay, I can already good, tell you. Okay, then that will oh, actually, that scores twice. That will score twice. So, so let's check out that just sweet on um, type advantage and chase cards. Uh, just on type advantage, they're already at four. Already at four. So yeah. let's see what the Suicune brings up with Galarian Gallery number That's 38 cool is going to be $32.56. Oh! So it's a 33-point card plus four more is 37? Oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. Wow. Well, you know what, Corey? It was a good few seconds. Seconds. There. I know, I know. <laughs> right away, Margo jumps up to 37. Not just probably good for Rookie of the Day, but second place overall. Oh my god, I know. That's amazing. So our leaderboard right now, CK Hoftalk, is at 40 points. 40 so like, points. Very close striking distance. However, only one back season, so that's, so that's it. it. <laughs> so CK Hoofkoff is safe. Can we get the, let's get a uh, sleep oh, I'm so for sorry. the yes, yes. here. Yep. Oh my goodness. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, Suicune has been one of my favorite cards from the Sword and Shield era. I definitely won at least one tournament playing a Suicune deck. It is such a fun card. Really good, and I love the alt art. I'm so glad I finally got it. Oh man, great pull, Go, great pull. Now if we pull the Raikou though, that one's awesome. That's gonna be on. That that's one's gonna be on. That's, okay. that's, that's, oh, it, I, that's the one where he's running. He's like running. Yeah. It's maybe my favorite artwork in the whole set. So wow. I really hope we do pull that one. Next up we have uh, Matthias, uh, currently playing a Moth Folk, um, what is this? Moth Folk Board? Bard. Oh, okay, man, I'm just gonna, He's playing D and D. He's a D and D man. He's a bard. So one of the All fun right. facts, if you are if you're a patron of Box Breakers, you do get to include a fun fact about yourself That's for us true. to potentially read here on screen. I so. will say that as of the last episode, I think we have got uh, like maybe less than 15 spots left available. Dangerously close. Dangerously, Dangerously close, close to full board for Scarlet and Violet. So we really want to fill up the entire uh, roster heading into the Scarlet and Violet base set. Very exciting stuff. All right, let's see. Can we get our first? First eyeball energy. It's so much metal so much going metal. around. Man. I know. Would have been a good day for it. I know. Would have been. Unfortunately, I, I, I would have been so disappointed too. Is the thing. I know. Yeah. It's, yeah. It, it, it's not. A, it's not the best. But there is something fun back there. It's going to be oh, the road to me. So okay. I say fun. It's possible. This is just bulk V. Uh, let's have a we'll have a look at it. We'll have a look at it. Yeah, just to be, just to be, just to be sure. The Rotom V is worth a whopping forty nine cents. Wow, so, that's gonna be yeah. a single point. For Matthias, maybe include the forty-nine cents on there to for easy math purposes oh, right. in yes, the yes, future. Yes. Although that's future not us. going to, I'm pretty sure the last uh, one was twelve cents with the Zara Aura. Okay, okay. So, so this is another single point pack, which is crazy with a V. I know. Yeah, I know. That's where like having having like a bulk V really hurts you because it's it true. is still worth more than like a just a, a non hollow star card. But uh, anyway, next up we've got Emily Stock. E Stock. Okay. You stuck. I, you know what? I'm gonna pull all the way from your side. I picked from my side. I went all the way to your side. You went, instead. You went I to did, my yeah. side. So this could have been Peabody Coco's card. This, you know, if I been. if I just gone from the left from the start. All right. So let's see. One, two, three, four. And with the flip. Oh, and the oh, eyeball energy. He's stuck with the eyeball. Coming there we go. in there we go. strong. Okay. So double everything in this pack. Let's see how we do. The lost vacuum. The saw. Oh, rock, the lunatone. The lunatone. Yeah, First lunatone of the day. The Emolga. The love disc. Uh, the Yanma. Oh, oh and another one. Double Lunatones. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look, look at that. And yes, yeah, so that's amazing. So that at, at bare minimum will be worth four, four points. Because right? we know that it's worth Each at least. Each of them are yeah. worth two. And so then we'll go to the back as well. And we got Hop. All right. So that'll just Signed. be worth two. Um, Let's see. Let's Lunatone see. and Soul Rock here. These two cards actually work together to make a, a specific deck, which was rampant on the online ladders and is super annoying to play against. Um, it, it is it is very beatable, but also can win almost any game. Well, there you go. Yeah. 
So. Um, all right, so that Lunatone is gonna come in at Galarian Gallery number 11, which is worth $2.99, and so not a lot of rounding room, but so three, three, four, five, no, I'm sorry. Three plus one for being psychic, so. So eight. So four times two is eight. Yep. Yeah, this would be 10, this would be 12. 12 there points. There we go, 12 points for Emily. Goodness gracious. Okay, so that is a really, really, really strong position, I think, for a quality eighth place. I think you're right. Um, because we have at least had one person, Margot, uh, bump uh, the entire group down as it stands. So I believe uh, that, yeah, you're gonna be very, very close to that quality eighth place position. Uh, once Man. all the, the scores have settled, but we'll see. There's obviously a lot of packs left to open still, and there is honestly a lot of stuff on this list that is worth a, a fair bit of pointage. Um, if so. someone gets the Altar Giratina V-Star, I think that's the most valuable one. It yes. is like uh, in the, what, in the over 100. It's, it, yeah, it's over 100 for sure. So, I think $141. Plenty of points. opportunity for someone to just run away with it still. Yeah. All right, next up we have Offion. Uh, this is, yeah, they, they've, they're, they're a long time player in the game at this point. This is their third season. Third season, yep. although cumulative total points right now is 11. 11 across both of their previous seasons. Right, so. so. Let's see. Can they outdo? Oh, is it my turn? I believe so. I think I opened okay. for E-Stock. You're not? right. Yeah, because yes. you pulled yeah, this one. I did. Goodness me, goodness me. Well, here we go. Cracking in. Boom. The back can we get another eyeball? No, we ah. can't. We just got the fire energy there. How we doing? The Shinks, no scoring cards yet to speak of. Oh! Okay, so we had the Zera Aura V Star earlier. Did we or was it the V Max? I think it was the V Max. This is definitely uh, Galarian Gallery Zera Aura V Star though, so I'm betting a little better. Yes, absolutely. So that one yeah. immediately comes in at $13.13. .13. Whoa, that's a 14, uh, a 14 point, point, point So literally more points scored with that one card. Than uh, in their then, past two seasons combined, followed by the Luxray, so it's just gonna be a single point card. So it's gonna be a 15 point pack. 15 points, absolutely amazing. Well, I was, I literally, I was like, 11 points. That's crazy. Do for some luck. Okay, so 15 oh, could yes. also, that feels like it puts you in a very good quality eighth place positioning as well, depending on how it shakes out here. Yes, yeah, so Actually, coming into the day, it would have put you in fifth overall, yeah. but I believe since then, it would at least drop you into sixth. So I would say that like with a couple more episodes left this season, uh, and given the kinds of pulls that we're getting, I think yeah. that's a good position to it, be in. It is certainly possible. It feels likely you might just slip past it a little bit, but you never know. You absolutely never know with this game. It is wild. All right, next up, we've got Anthony. Anthony. Anthony, who's part of a, uh, a whole family of players here in the old box breakers. Uh, you know, it's like, and they, they come to play. Come they to do. play for sure. Uh, but I do love the fact that we have multiple family members, uh, all of whom are in on in on the game. Yeah, here, I like so. to think they're all watching together and like really just like, you know, rooting and screaming. And oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, With the teardrop there. energy right off the top, mm -hmm. the, the Friends of Sinnoh, the Lairon. Yep. Oh, nice, excellent. Trekking Shoes, Galarian, Mr. Mom, Chatot. 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 Yeah. Cricketot? Yep. I hate this one. Yanma. The Riolu and the oh, the Snorlax. Snorlax. It's a really cute Snorlax. It is a really cute Snorlax. That does not score. That doesn't score. So, so that's going to be a single... Oh, we should look up the value, though, because this could be a last placer. <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, so second. we're looking for less than 12 cents here. Less than 12 cents. Could it be 17? 17. 17. Bummer. 17 Off cents. by a nickel. It is. I know, but I mean, little extra, little extra spending points, you know, for when you go to the, you the, go. the, the fictional <laughs> store to buy your breadsticks, but... <laughs> Oh, goodness me. Well, good, good, solid effort. That's going to give you a single point for the season there, Anthony. Good job. You put up a solid run. Next up, we've got Stefan and Susie. Boy, another power couple playing here. I know, I know yeah. Like, you know, talking about families, and here they come. Here they come. And I want to say, who was it? Haley and Colin opened the season really early, I think with like the third or fourth pack with one yeah. of those secret rares. Yep. Got the 22 pointer. 22 points. Sat on top of the leaderboard for a hot second. For a hot second. Unfortunately, got beat out three separate times in the last episode, so I that's know. the kind of season we're having. Well, I'm excited to see, I'm excited to see how the couples do when they come yeah. to play. 
These guys love CrossFit and Pokemon. Boom! Mm, the rock is pummeling energy off the right out of the get there. Giraffe Rig will score. Carnivine, Salandit, Salazzle, Purloin, Grub, and Scrub, Helioptile, and oh the loss. I mean it's a cool, it's a cool loss back and very useful card. And the gum shoe. Oh. So unfortunately, our power couple only rakes in two points. Just a single two points. Unfortunately. Unfortunate. Too bad, too bad. But better luck next the time. We we have seen some of the, the opening uh, like some of the cards that we will see in the Scarlet and Violet uh, set next season, they are, they are going to be gnarly. Yeah. So it's going to be a it's going to be a heck of a season for sure. It sure is. Uh, next up we have Ellie. Ellie. Oh, her B day is coming up on St. Patrick's Day, or I guess depending on when this goes up. It Maybe could be today. It could be close. Happy birthday! What? Whoa! We planned this just for you, maybe as long as it is. As long as it's a really good pack. Let's and see. it's gonna be. The guys in the gonna, back have already phoned it in, Jay. Yeah. Oh. They, as as a as a special reward for the birthday, the birthday girl. Yeah. Uh, oh my gosh! And the wow. eyeball energy right Dude, off the top. How do they know? The guys in the back have got something going on. It's absolutely remarkable. Let's see. Oh, oh. No, there we and go. We're gonna right. score again. Yep. Now, okay. We'll take it. We'll take it. The tangle, the rock rough. All right. We're slowing down a little bit. Slowing down. Oh, oh but it's the wrong. Oh. It was almost, man, like, this was the potential four times multiplier. Could you have imagined? That, for a birthday? Could, especially with this, Jake. Ready? Yeah. Especially with this. <gasps> but for real. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's yes! Or a B Max! Hey. I think this is the second time we've seen this card today. I know, is I think it? you're right. Oh my gosh. Well, yeah. <laughs> it's once a cool again, card. The guys in the back. Uh, <laughs> I want to say this was like a weirdly unvaluable V Max. I think you're right. I think you're right. So $2.08. So three, four times two is an eight point pack. There you go. Not, solid. not bad though, not bad though. Because you're also bad. gonna get the you're gonna get that foil energy card, yeah. you're gonna get the V Max, it's your birthday, yeah. we're all excited for you. Yeah. There's been is that the like fifth Zara Aura card we pulled today? I do I you We've know, had I'm, two V Maxes, two of the regular rares, and one of the, the Alt Art V Star. Here's my thinking is we when we order, we're ordering uh all of these things at once. I almost yeah. feel like we need to go and shop <clears throat> like a bunch of different stores. Right. Mix up really the algorithm a little bit. Yeah. Although at yeah. the same rate, we got three of those secret rares, so that's pretty cool. At the same rate. You know, maybe you, you just you get you win big or you lose big all right. together, I suppose. Next up we have Jupiter Fox, a professional face painter. Hey! Man, that's pretty exciting. I know. Now, last season, or in there in season two they had twelve. Then 11, so it seems like they've been on a downward trend. We'll Could, see, I mean, maybe they can, they're looking for, I guess, I'm not, not gonna be disappointed with a 10 point pack. I mean, I'm, I, gonna, I'm gonna tell you that right now. Yeah, sure, sure. So. We'll see how Jupiter Fox feels about that. Boom! Salad energy, would have been great last week, but not this week! Ha! That's the nature of the game. Mr. Mime, the sunk, I do see, actually I see something cool see sticking something out back there. there. It looks yellow. like a V-star okay, or something. Okay, okay, All right, let's see it. We've got the, oh, the leaf! That's gonna be big money right there I because it, it's, it's an EV. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, yep. can you imagine if this was last week and they had the salad energy and the leafy on? Bam, oh and God, then the, the double, double, so okay, that's lame. A little, but, a little bit more. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no sugar coating. Just lame. no sugar just coating lame. your double. I mean, maybe, right. yeah. Uh, Glaring Gallery number 35. It's gonna be cool. Alright, right, let's see here. So number 35, Leafeon V Star is gonna come in at $35. Whoa! Cents. Wow! That's a what a 36 cool. point card. 30, that's my 36, lucky 37! Oh my gosh. So this is our second 37 pack. Oh my gosh, uh, I know. Yeah, day. so we have tied for second place. Tied for second place at 37 points with our rookie of the day. Goodness gracious, if this that had been crazy. last week, yeah, that would have been that would have been like the leader for sure. Oh, for sure. This um, would have been up in the 70s. Yeah. Wow, man. Oh, I'm going to leave that for you real quick. Hang on yeah. one second. That is an amazing looking card. That though. is a really love cool. it. I absolutely always love the uh the EV arts. Yeah. You just can't go wrong. All right, there That's we go. That's why we have all these skateboards. That is why we have all these skateboards. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I remember when they put these up on Pokemon Center, and I texted it to Ben and was like, oh no. I, it, why did they do this? And then I texted him back and said, I bought them all. <laughs> 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 and honestly, I think that that decision that day is why this show exists. I'm like, we have got to use these. It's like, yeah, it's like, we can't just have them. We need to use them We need something. to use them. All right, so uh, they were ordered that Jupiter Fox downward trend, way up. Way up. Way, way up. up. Stock is through the roof. Next up, we have Collared Cow 41. Collared Cow 41. <coughs> uh, I feel uh, like I feel like Collared Cow 41 and CK Hoof Talk could be like co-hosts of the same oh my um, gosh. bovine podcast. It, it seems per Does perfectly that... possible. Um, this is uh, Collared Cow is also a, uh, a well-known maker of pizza, so maybe they could have a. Um, 
cow themed podcast where they talk about pizza. I love it. Okay. I love it. Make it happen, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. C- connect, connect with one another. Connect. All right, so we've got the Fireball Energy, the Salazzle, the Pokemon Catcher, the Graveler, the Starly, the Rylu. Riolu. Okay, I was close. I know. Aaron, right? Cricketot. Who names these things? Seal. Oh, Mewtwo. Oh, Mewtwo. I think that's rare and will score. Yep. And he gets, and and gets the, yeah, the type of And the gumshoes. So many gumshoes today. I'm going to double check that Mewtwo as well, just for yeah. safety. Yeah. Um, this one could be worth more because it's good in Gym Leader Challenge. I've actually been hoping to pull this card and have not yet. So good on you. There you go. Uh, it comes at 62 cents. So not okay. not quite going to tip you over, but it is worth two points because it is Ooh, eyeball right. energy. So a three point pack Three total. point pack total. Honestly, a usable Mewtwo if you play GLC. So there you go. Well done. Next up is Embug. Embug. Am I up? You're up. I think, yeah. You're up. I'm up. Yeah, go I'm right up. Go right ahead. Go right ahead. I think you are up. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is um, Embug. Fun pack to gave me. The name Embug because of like cross stitching and to read. Embug. I don't know if I understand how those things are connected with the name Embug, but maybe there's like a cross stitching joke. There are also some cross stitch Pokemon, so maybe they'll get one. There you go. The Snorlax, I believe. We've already seen it today. Yeah. The teardrop energy there's right out the of the gate. The teardrop energy. The shame and the dang Scyther. Everyone save it. The young goose. The execute. That scores. Oh, the cross stitch Snorlax. <laughs> What on earth? What are the odds? It's like it knew. It's, it's like, like it, it knew. knew. And the Orangaroo. Well, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and say that's kind of a, uh, that, that's just a big win because you got a cross stitch Pokemon that scored for you. So that's a three point pack. I would love for someone to cross stitch us a uh, Snorlax. That <coughs> just we like could, that? Just like that. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Someone um, get on so, it if you're yeah, good at yeah, it. Put like, out the, I'm going to, I'm going to put out the, uh, the yarn signal as yeah. it were. All right. All right the yarn right. signal. Yeah. 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 Yarn yeah. blasters go. Bam. There's a, my kids are presently watching a show called Super Kitties, and one of their powers is they have yarn blasters, and one of my least favorite aspects of it is they'll like sometimes want to like weave something, and they'll just go, yarn blaster, and they won't show it happening, and then they'll just cut to the next scene and be like, look, we made a giant blueberry. <laughs> and had a yarn, and I'm like, just like that, just like that. Anything I need, yarn. Yarn. Anyway. Anything you can do, yarn can do better. A pet, that is the theme <laughs> of the show. Next up we have Johnny! Johnny! Here we go. Okay. Works as a casino pit boss. So this is our this is our gambling man. I know, I know. Yeah. yeah. So we like are you gonna take a chance today? Go for something big, go for that that V star marker possibly. Oh man, go for the zero points. The zero points. That'd Could be it be one, two, two three? three. Nah, nah, sometimes no. we say stuff and it happens, so you know. <laughs> oh, Oh! Instead, going big in the other direction with and the eyeball energy, so double the, points on the board. Digging do with a shaman, the crushing hammer, Can the grubbing, the scrape, the helix tile, off. the wooloo, the shinx. So far, it's been pretty disappointing. Gamba, and oh no, goodness. just a double, just a double, and you got a wooloo to go with it. Uh, uh, there you go. Let's just put them together. And All right, well, what you, you know, have is kind of disappointing. Yeah, one does evolve into the other, but unfortunately, even with the eyeball energy, just a two point pack. Ben, oh my gosh, no. Look, let's look. I dare we look up what the value of the the double is. Hang on. Dare we indeed? Hang we on. dare. One twenty two on the set. It seems like it seems ripe it's... for being worthless. Ten cents. Oh no! Johnny would have been leading last place if he hadn't got the eyeball energy. <laughs> That is that's so the gamble you take. That's the gamble. That's the gamble. Sometimes the energy type advantage does not pay off, and this is one of those times. That is so, so sorry, funny. Dottie. Wow, you almost had it. Almost had it. Next up is Lauren. Hey, Lauren. Lauren is coming in uh, off a season of a nine-point finish. Not too bad. Her, this is Lauren, whose mom's on Wheel of Fortune, of course. Oh, yeah. No, we all know. Yeah. We all knew. Yeah. I didn't have to say it, but I right. did. Right, 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 you know. right, right. Lauren's mom is like uh, absolutely uh, loving the additional and uh, ongoing notoriety achieved right. through through proxy of this game. Rock is pummeling energy right off the top. The oh, Google score. score. We haven't, haven't seen that in a minute. Yeah, we haven't. There we go. The Meowth, the Whelmer, the Shinx, the oh, Corvish score. There scores. we go. Wow, look at, look at this. Some, all of a sudden, the chase cards are back and the Entei. That explosive heat dash right there. I think that's going to be a three-point pack, if I had to guess. I believe so, yep. Just, yep. just the three. Although the scrap has got some pretty cool artwork. So it you, sure does. You can take that home and do something with it, I think. Who was the artist on the scrap? I feel like they have a lot of cards, and you always know when it's them. Right. Tomokazu like Kamiya. Kamiya. It's like, very, like, distinctive. Yeah. All right, Ben, next up, we got Big Jake. Big Jake! Photographer and does AV work for his church. All right, Let's Big Jake. Take. Finished last season, eight points. 
So, can they outdo themselves? Can they? Yeah. Will they? Have they? Well, we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. We'll yeah. know soon. I'm sorry. I was no just doubt. Trying to build suspense, but we're already getting there anyway. It's suspenseful enough as it is. Yeah. Jeez. What do they say for Monster Jam? You can buy the whole seat, but yeah. you only need the edge. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. I mean, like you guys are just standing, as far as I can tell, watching this show, though. Right. That's like this You show. don't even need the seat. Right, yeah, love this. Standing Pro room Lord, only. Rock rough. Rock rock. Rock and, rock. And the Rion, so only a single scoring card. Uh, I have to think that Rihon is going to be worth more than 12 cents. But let's take a glimpse. You never know. This is a last place contender at the moment. Oh, yeah, 76 cents. 76 Incredibly cents. Incredibly valuable for being worth less than one point. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, Rihon's certainly a good card, and it is holographic and, you know, signed by the man himself. So there is that. Do you think individually? Uh, probably. God, just at the factory, it's just so. like. He's just like. Ooh, they got all the gym leaders there at once, just signing cards. Nice of them. Take it ben, up. next up is Karen Schultz. You want to know what Karen has uh, in front of in front of them today? Olive Garden. Olive Garden. Well, but probably not. But I bet you can't. Probably not. I bet you can't even smell the breadsticks. Now that said, uh, our current leader, who was it over there? Margo. Margo. Margo has thirty-seven points. Thirty-seven points has been scored twice today. True. So it's not impossible that Why Margo. Not three? Why not three? <laughs> Margo could absolutely take that, be taken down by Karen. Wow. Wow, them's fighting words. Them's fighting words. We're going to see what's going to happen well, I bet here. there's a raucous pummeling energy. I you can think feel so? it. You think it's going to be feels raucous? Like, it feels battleless. Uh, oh! Oh! Wow, wow, Karen, this is, she's tricky, you know. I know, You think, I know, you think I mean, she's gonna yeah. show up with the raucous pummeling? She pulls out the type advantage, but you, now who knows what's gonna happen. Now we don't even know. We know, oh, oh gloom. gloom. Two points right away, uh, look at that. Right. Gloom Only for Margo, indeed. Oh Corbis my gosh. Scores. Wow. It's 33 and points to hop, go. Pop scores two. Okay. 30. And oh, oh, the Lux Ray. Oh, okay, man. It was exciting. <laughs> it, was, it, was, it was like, it's <laughs> happening. It's happening. It's not happening. That's an eight point back overall for Karen. Great use of the type advantage and uh, common chase cards, but not enough to win yourself a trip to the Olive Garden, unfortunately. unfortunately. Although know. it would have been eight points for a, a rookie of the day. is usually a pretty competitive That's play. That's usually like, pretty good. We don't normally have 37 point Margo over here. No. Who, well, I, I, from, we say that while our other rookie of the day almost knocked Brooke off the leaderboard with that like alt Like 231 yeah. points all at once. That's just true. Maybe I'm not giving rookies nearly rookie, enough credit. Rookies show up. Not always, but sometimes they do. All right, next up, in, is it, was this it? This is this Jess. Jess. Speaking the, of rookies, speaking the very of one. So Jess has only ever opened one pack. It was her rookie debut. It was last season. She opened up the Alt Art Lugia V and nearly threw off everything for Brooke, who won the whole season. She scored 231 points. So you got to think... Probably not a repeat performance, but she did come to fight. We did, yeah. We got that raucous pummeling energy right off the top there, so we'll set that down. The dust will we'll score the trekking shoes, the Layron? Yeah, Layron. Yeah. Pancham, Snowrunt, Rockruff, Tanglia, Ball Toy. Carnivine does not score. And, and the oh, Yenega. So oh. after the Alt Art Lugia, not quite the repeat performance that uh, Jess was looking for. Uh, that's gonna be just a. That's gonna be two points. Just right two. There. Just two points. So I mean, it, I don't want to say that there was a little bit of like a performance hangover. Yeah. Um. But maybe going from two thirty one to two, uh, is a drop off. It's a. It's a little bit of a drop off. But you There's know no what? Doubt. I smell a comeback. I smell a comeback. You oh know? man. There's always next season. There is. Okay. Next up, we have. Another Lauren. That's what it says. That's what it says to call her is another Lauren. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We have we have their name and we have their name inside of the box. And the name inside of the box is what we call them. So we and have. This is another Lauren. This is another Lauren. <laughs> That's really funny that they chose to do that because we do have a lot of Laurens playing this game. Uh, Lauren is up for Rookie of the Day! So, again, we're hoping for 37, at least 37 points, and then we have to do some math. Uh, but, Can I pick yeah, it? You, uh, by all means. The thing about another Lauren is that she loves dark types, so let's see if she can um, have some big dark type Pokemon in here. Oh, Ben is doing some hand weights or something. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. If you manage to pull out a 38 plus point pack doing this, <laughs> what is Margo going to think? <laughs> Margo's going to write me a firmly this, written letter. This does have a nice. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll I mean, see. It could be nothing. It could be nothing, or it could be huge. It could be. Huge. The thing is, people are going to start to think it's unfair if I do this. <laughs> 
<laughs> if I'm right. <laughs> if but you're right. This is the moment, though. This is, this is the moment. This is when it has to oh, man, too much pressure. Unfair. I should have done it. Now, now I feel like. Let's see. Okay, so there's no multiplier. Nothing like that. Nothing like that. It's hard to tell the energy types. Just the by energy feel. types. Damn, the Luxio. I don't see anything sneaking out, but I might just be holding the cards too well. in such a way. Executor does score twice. Oh, oh and I got the dark type. Look at that with the Absol. Uh, so it is going to be two, three points overall. Yep, yep, indeed. Let me just double check that 77. <clears throat> yep, yep. So nothing. Okay, nothing. so sorry, it wasn't a 37 point it pack. Wasn't, it and wasn't. Ben's hand scales are worthless, so. Apparently. Yeah. There's no good. There's no good. There's no good. Maybe you want them, maybe you don't. You never know. know. Yep. There's always the chance. There's always the chance. Next up is Chris K, who finished last season with just two points, so they were kind of maybe going for that like last place finish, but they only had one pack. They were a rookie last season with their last pack, so this is their uh, their first time playing a full season, of course, but it's only one pack, so. Right, right, right. Only well, so their second pack ever. One, they make two, banned three, merch for a living, so that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Yeah. With the flip? Man, we'll another lightning, lightning energy in a row. Okay, yeah. The layer on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> layer on. You got it. <laughs> Trekking shoes. Come Gen 9, I'm going to be useless because there's so many of the ones that I don't know how to say yet. Um, the Pokeball, the Lux. Oh, is that score? Yeah, that scores. The Lux will score. And the, oh, the Whale Lord. Lord. So three scoring cards. That looks like a three point pack, which means Chris Gay uh, finishes better than last season, but only barely because oh. now they're up to three points. That's a, that's a big old. Bad sace. Well, too bad for you, Chris. You Better luck next season in Scarlet and Violet. <clears throat> Boom. Next up we have, oh, another crowd paper, Ben. It's Afropunk! Afropunk! Boom. Play the theme music. Do we have theme music for Afropunk? Uh, me, you know, I assume Ethan came up with something in post. Probably. 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 Ethan's like, whenever we say these things, he's like, guys. That's just extra we work. We have to do things. Uh-oh, Afropunk oh. has got the dreaded V-Star marker, but that could mean last place is on the board. It could. So it they want that. basically terrible Zero. pack now. Terrible That's pack. what they're hoping for. From here on out, nothing, here go. nothing but worse. Nothing but worse. So far, that's good. Oh, oh that's it. Oh, that's it. That's, that's already it. it. That's well, it. Well, well, it could still be a one-point pack, I guess. It could still be a one-point pack. Yeah. And then we have to go to, the, we have to, go to the, the fine digits. The fine digits. We'll see the scythe. Oh! oh! Look at that ditto card! That's amazing! That is Look, a, this one's the ditto because he's got the, he's the got derpy little, smile. Little. That's really adorable. And is it going to be something else too? No, it's going to be the live part. The so, live part. Okay, so our first ditto. No, that's pretty exciting. So, not a last place finish. It is going to be the minus one uh, from the V Star marker. Okay, and let's see if that's Glaring Gallery number 22 on yeah. our set. <clears throat> Let's go through and check the board here. That is worth $2.33. So Rounds up to three. There are three, four, and that'll be it. Because this will be minus off. Oh, yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, correct. I was like, yes. Yep. Yes. So, yeah. Three, four, five, minus one, four. Boom. There you go to Afro Punk. Congratulations. That ditto is super neat. Very fun. Headed your way. Congratulations. There you go. Enjoy your theme music. All right, next up we've got Becky Borst coming in. Becky, Becky Borst. finished last season with just three points, so I think uh, she's hoping to do a little bit better this time around. I'm having a time with the packs today. Wow. Sometimes you're good, sometimes you're bad. You know? Okay. You got it? I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. We're, we're getting there, so to the front, and with the flip, the lightning bolt How many energy. lightning bolt energies can we get in one? So many, yeah. so many. Okay, so let's see here. So, so far, nothing really exciting. The Emolga, the yep. Yanma. Mm -hmm. Cricket at the Agron, that does score. That does score, and, and oh, oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, friends in Hisui, uh-oh. Nice. These friends cards do seem to be uh, high value cards, so I'm not sure if this is gonna be like a 30, 37, 40 point card or anything, but we'll find out. Let's, Let's see. see. So number 148. Let's take a yeah. look. It is solid. It's definitely not quite in that range. Comes in at $13.70. Okay, so 14 point card plus the aggron is going to bring you to 15 points on the season. Extremely solid, and I have to say, Probably puts you in a really good spot for a quality eighth place finish. I know, yeah. We've had a, we've, we've had a couple of those today. We still have two uh, episodes left this season, so yeah. obviously, like you just never know what is going to happen. But yeah, good good position to be in as you leave the day there. No doubt, no doubt. There we go. Bam, friends in this. What a cool card! It is a very cool card. Cool card. Is one of those red? 
Uh, no, no, none of these are red. Okay. Red okay. is a is a Kanto Pokemon, so that okay. would be more like or a Kanto trainer. Sorry. Oh my gosh. That'd be like friends in Kanto. Although that card would go bananas because it would have red and blue and like probably green and probably Brock and Misty on it. Yeah, and cool. yeah, that'd, that'd be, be a good one. Really cool. Yeah, that'd be a good one. All right, next up. Oh, man, we have another Rookie of the Day contender. Ayo. It's Sierra, who's teaching uh, K through fifth grade at her school, at her after school program, Kids. Teaching her K through fifth grade after school program kids how to play Pokemon. Uh, oh man, so cards we send go to those kids. That's so exciting. How cool. Oh, adorable. So what are the kids going to get to play with, Ben? Hopefully we're sending them something really competitive that make one of their decks way better than everyone else's. <sighs> Bam, they have the salad oh, energy yeah, right here. We have the trekking shoes, the Luxio, the lost vacuum. Man, the Krikatot, the Shinx, the Mr. Mime, the Crushing, crushing Hammer, hammer and, and the oh, Dumbo. Oh, man. Oh, but wait, but wait! Has it happened? It has been, because as we know from uh, the, the previous pack, the Dumbo's only worth 10 cents. Hang on, hang on, right? hang on. Double check it. 10 cents. 10 cents! Which means we have a new last place! Leader! It's hilariously bad! Congratulations! Oh my gosh, that is gonna put you at- You know what? Just for that, just for that, I'm gonna- I'm gonna sleeve it for you. There you go, wow! The only- The double! The only coming through! Double that has ever been sleeved, uh, for protective purposes in the history of the game. We should- we should try and figure out, in future seasons, what is, like, the least valuable star card. Oh, yeah, So we right. know, like, what to look for. What to look for. Outside what, of a zero-point pack. What an accolade at that point in time. Right? Alright, well, good job, I guess. Uh, next up, maybe that can be, like, your class's mascot, is the dub wool. You know? Yeah! yeah. I like it. I, I think like so. Alright, next up is Vicky! Vicky! Vicky, only Vicky's se uh, second pack ever, so last time they were a, uh, rookie. Let's see how Vicky does. They scored five points as a rookie last season. Can they beat it? Can they beat it? I feel like out. we're. I feel like we had a bunch of stuff off the front. We've been a little quiet for a minute. I feel yeah. like we're, I feel like we had the friends. I guess that we part. had the friends in Hisui. That's yeah. true. Let's see. We have the gloom scores. Okay, so that's something. Salandic, coughing, Bidoof, the sunker, and the soul rock does not score. Oh. The Heliolus scores. That was like a two point pack, right there. So unfortunately. That's not going to get you very much, but uh, you've got a, a shiny soul rock coming your way. Hey! There you go. That's something, I guess. <laughs> I, uh, I, I guess. I guess. Uh, right. Next up, we've got Heartbeat. Heartbeat! Heartbeat! Doom, right. doom. Has been watching SCB for a long time. We've got him into Harry Potter and fantasy in general. No way! That's very cool. That's you excellent. should read Name of the Wind exactly if you what have I was an say. Yeah, there you go. Thank you yeah. for chiming in. I appreciate well, it. Let's see. What is going to be the name of your back. rare card today? Oh, good, good question. Good mm. question. Fireball energy right, right. off the energy top. Energy switch, Croc, Ultra, 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 Ultra Ball, Ball. The switch, the Snow Run. So oh, the Larvesta scores. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yep. Good call. Good save. Good. Save. Yep. Angling on the ball toy, the Scizor. Yeah, Scizor. Scizor. And oh wow, the Helisk again. Man, so it's gonna be a three-point pack overall. Not gonna get you any podium positions right there. But you do have a Scizor, which evolves from Scyther, so that makes it amongst some of the coolest Pokemon ever. There you go. So you there got you go. that. You can go with your complete set of the, the Scyther Evolution chain. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Next up is Jacob Worgenis. This is uh, Jacob's last pack was as a rookie to finish out last season. I believe it's Wurginess. Wurginess. Gin okay. like the gin like the dragon. Oh, it's, you're right. It is yeah. Wurginess. Wurginess. Jacob Wurginess. We're heading over to the Wurgenesses this evening yeah. for a spot of gin. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good night. Oh, not so bad. Not so yeah, bad. Not so bad. Man, they love stargazing, so you probably you know you you know you have your gin. You go outside. You look at some stars. It's a telescope, it's probably. It's a telescope. I feel exactly. Like it's probably like birds chirping and stuff. Yeah. A dark teardrop. Dark energy. teardrop. So there's that. The giraffe rig scores. The Larvesta scores. Outstanding. Here we go. We're off to a good start. Oh, that was such oh, a bad flourish. Wow, I'm was, so sorry. I call myself a professional. <laughs> wow. It's going to be a three-point pack for Wurgenus. Wurgenus. Well done. All right. That's uh, the same. So he ties his last season total of three points as well. And we'll see you soon for Gin and Stargazing. We will. That's going to be a good night. All right. All right. Next up is Matt Cox. Matt Cox. Now, Matt has been a actually a really consistent performer so far. They finished with 13 points and 18 points. Across two seasons. Yeah. yeah so. so no, like, championship kind of scoring things, but, like, big numbers consistently. Yeah, for sure. For so sure. let's see what they do with a single pack. I can tell you that there's a Scyther in there right off the top. Well, so everyone loves a Scyther. Three, no. Four. 
with a flip. Okay, Bam, the metal okay, energy. The metal energy. Yeah, and okay. That dust off scores. So there's right something. There's your side there. Side there. Ball. Nice dodging the layer on there. Thanks, thanks, yeah. thanks. <laughs> Luxio oh, and, and oh, the Leafeon! Man, so again, Matt puts up at least a, a, a nice showing card. We'll see if the Leafeon's worth anything. Unfortunately, it is not. Oh. Unlike the Leafeon we had earlier, this does fall into that bulk V status. It's going to be worth 82 cents. Oh, so, so it's just, just a three point Three pack points there. on the pack. Wow, unfortunate for Matt. To finish out the season that way, but you get a cool Leafeon card. There Leafeon's you go. Leafeon's certainly very playable. Absolutely. If you want to. Congratulations. Yeah. Enjoy! There you go. All right, I think this might be our last contestant of the day. Okay. It's Bubsy. Bubsy! Bubsy, another uh, player who only had a single pack last season as a rookie, and they only scored four points with that pack. So let's see if they can outdo themselves. Could this be the day where our last pack scores the most points? <gasps> the day should come eventually. It, it should come eventually. I mean, how many how many rounds of this do we have to do before that happens? You'd think like somewhere in the range of 36. True. Yeah. True. Gotta be getting close. All right. Let's see. Bam. Oh, Rock, Rock is, is pummeling. pummeling. Okay. Always oh, right. good. There's the regular. That's friends in Sinnoh. The Gloom will score. The Gloom scores. Great ball. Execute scores. scores. I think yeah. I do see something back there. Do you? Okay. Okay. So, okay. So, we'll go to love, love this. this. Go. Yeah, we've got. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay, Here we go. Okay, Ready? Okay, yep. Bam. Oh! Okay, so we had the sweet Coon earlier. Now we have the Entei and then the Aggron to finish it off. Let's see. The, yeah, the Entei is definitely going to be like where the, where the <coughs> money's gonna at. That's going to be where the money's at for sure. Will it be more? Will this be more than a 37-point pack? I kind of doubt it, but you never know. I mean, it's a really cool Entei card. It's a massively solid card. It comes in at twenty-one dollars nineteen cents, so twenty-two points, so nice. twenty-three, four, five points 25. on the on the pack. Very impressive. Gonna Boom. put you in like the top five, absolutely. Yes. Uh, I mean, depending on how the rest of the thing goes, that could be quality eighth place um, God, situation. Can you imagine twenty-five points being quality eighth place? I mean, right now it's fourth. I mean, that's, that's true. It's and true. And we're halfway through. And we're halfway through, so, so it could happen. Yeah, it could absolutely be the eighth place card right there. This has been such a fun season. Oh I've my loved gosh. it so very the much. The Ente is so cool, too, Look with that, that volcano in the background. I know, oh that's a really cool card art. Well, congratulations. Card is headed there your you way. Go. It has been protected. Uh, also, we want to thank all of our patrons uh, for our support and basically giving us the premise for the entire show. Uh, if you yourself would like to have us open packs for you here on Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, then head on over over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and get in on the box breakers tier, which will get packs open for you in the month of April for our Scarlet and Violet three month season. Yes, it is gonna be a really fun season. It is a brand new base set, a new era of the Pokemon card game. We've only got like uh, I think under 15 spots left uh, I know, for players in the game. The other really cool thing that we do also have happening coming into next season is that we are officially launching the team competition. So if you are over there on the on the Patreon yeah. and you see that there is a grass type, <coughs> water type, fire, electric um, you can choose which team you want to participate with, and there will be just a special extra prize for the winning team. Yeah, there will, so that's going to be a fun thing, but we'll reveal what the prize is next season. There we go. Uh, link is in the description down below if you'd like to go and check it out. Otherwise, until next time, bye! bye.